and there comes our client now we should log in and then we should choose the appropriate version so I'm on a PC right now so I'm going to select the PC version and there comes our different laboratories now we are going to do the air track experiment and that is in mechanics laboratory so I'm selecting that and here's our different experiments in this laboratory and let's find the air track experiment select that and let's click the start button and now we should start by selecting a language option today we are going to do the English version so let's click on that and here is our lab and here's our lab assistant Amy now we can move around in the lab using the WASD keys and we can look around using our mouse we can take the objects in the lab using the left mouse button and then release them using the right mouse button now this thing here is our VR lab tablet and on this tablet we can find the relevant theoretical information about the experiment and also the relevant um, tables and whatnot about the experiment so let's start by selecting this theory part and here we can find the theoretical basics about this experiment now the first part of this experiment is about motion with constant velocity in one dimension so there is the relevant equations and definitions the second part is going to be motion with constant acceleration in one dimension and lastly we have um, conservation of momentum in one dimension and after the theoretical basics we can see the tools and materials that we are going to use and after that we have the experimental procedure and here we can see the steps that we should follow for each of the parts of the experiment so let's go back by clicking the back button and now let's select the experiment part here we can see the three different parts of this experiment I'm going to select the first one motion with constant velocity in one dimension okay so here is the table that we are going to fill in this in this part of the experiment as you can see it is right now empty so I'm releasing the tablet and in this first part we are going to use this air table next to us on the right you can see that there are four photo gates on this air track and here we have a cart and we are going to measure the velocity of the cart as it passes through each of the photo gates now to release the um, or to launch the photo um, the cart I am clicking on it and I am holding the left mouse button and when I release the mouse button as you can see the cart is also released and here we can see the velocity is measured at each of the photo gates and these values are also found in our VR lab tablet and this delta T here is the time um, it takes the cart to um, go through each of the photo gates of course um, we can using this velocity and this delta t we can find the length of the cart or vice versa now what we can do 
is we can click the draw graph button and when we do that in this table the velocity versus data points graph appears and we can also see graphically that the velocity did not change since there is no force acting on this card. Now we have save data button here when we click that our plot is saved on our desktop as an image file so that we don't lose our graphs. Alright, so this was the first part of this experiment. Let's go back and let's move on to the second part, which is motion with constant acceleration in one dimension. Again, we have our empty table. And in this part, we are going to use this air track to the left. Now this time we have two photo gates. Again we have a cart here. But now a string is attached to this cart. And at the other end of this cart we can hang some masses. So that when we release the cart it accelerates um, due to the gravity acting on the masses here. right? Okay, so here we have a weighing scale. Let's turn that on. And here we have three different masses. So let's weigh this one. It is um, of 10 grams. Let's put this one as well. So this is also 10 grams. And this is also 10 grams. So in total we have 30 grams. Now let's hang these masses to the free end of the string and now we can release the cart by clicking the start button there we go here the velocities at the two photo gates are shown and of course we are we can also find them in our tablet as you can see, the velocity has increased and we can now draw our graph. Again, we have the velocity versus data point graph and you can see that velocity did not remain constant and it increased, right? Let's save our data again. And that was our second part in this air track experiment. Okay, so now let's move on to the last part, which is the conservation of momentum in one dimension. Okay, so this is the table for the third part in this experiment. Now here, let's release our tablet. And here we are going to use this air table um, away from us. Now here we have two photo gates and two carts at each of the ends of the air track. Now we are going to um, adjust the launch velocity of each cart separately and then we are going to release them clicking this button and we are going to observe the collision of the two carts. Okay so I am now in the same way um, as in the first part, I'm going to adjust the launch velocity. I am clicking with the left button and holding. Now I release the left button. I'm going to do the same thing with the other cart. Okay, so now I can click the start collision button. We have observed the collision and if we now take the tablet in our hands we can see the velocity of the first cart before and after the collision and the same thing for the second cart right now here the velocities are of course signed so in the um, the, the velocity before the collision as you can see is positive and it is negative after the collision 
Um, and that's because, of course, the cart reverses its direction after the collision, right? And the same thing happens here, but now it is negative before the collision and positive after the collision. Okay, let's again click the draw graph button. And there we can see our graphs. This is our plot for the first card, and this is our plot for the second card. As you can see, the velocity of the first one started to be positive, and then it became negative. And the opposite thing happened here. And what we should do after this is we should add up the um, momenta before and after the collision and check whether they are equal. Okay, so let's save our data again. And that was the air track experiment with its three different parts. And now we can say goodbye to Amy and leave our experiment. If you want to redo our experiment, we can start this button here. But if you want to leave the lab, we can start this and exit the lab. Okay, so that was the um, air track experiment. Thanks for watching.